I just got a letter in the mail and I have to read it to you guys. Dear Taya, it's me, Kristen Stewart. As you know, Robert moved out and broke up with me because I was caught cheating on him with a married scumbag. Now everybody hates me, even though, as usual, it was the married man's fault. So I'm just writing to you to ask for advice because you're somebody who has experienced a lot of public humiliation. I need to ask you how to get through this and how to avoid it happening again. Sincerely, your biggest fan, Kristen. Honestly, Kristen, the way to solve your problems is to stop having sex. I mean, who actually enjoys having sex? I've always compared having sex to learning how to walk in high heels. The first time, it hurts like a bitch. You might even bleed. But with time, and with the right shoe, you can learn how to fake being comfortable. And if you're really good, fake having pleasure. So Kristen, for you and everybody else, I'm going to tell you how to avoid having sex. Tip number one, sexting. Here's an example of the perfect sext to send to a potential lover. You pick me up from work. I'm tired and sweaty. I sit down in the car next to you. You grab my leg. I tell you where to take me. You draw me off at CVS Pharmacy. I tell you to wait in the car. It's a surprise, I say. I come out holding a small plastic bag. I sit back down next to you and kiss you on the cheek. You feel super excited. You drive me home eagerly, and upon arriving, take me straight to your bedroom, where you throw me onto the bed and ask me to open my bag. I open it, hands shaking and reveal a small box, which you open. You quiver as you apply the anti-wrinkle cream to my face. Let's say you're unlucky enough to have the type of guy who thinks your sex is sexy, and he still takes you to dinner, and he takes you to a nice restaurant. You wear your fake diamonds to try to intimidate him, but it doesn't work because he knows that they're fake, and he's rich. You fake having diarrhea to escape the dinner. And you never talk to him again. If you're truly unfortunate and get taken home, despite admitting to having diarrhea, you pull the oldest trick in the book, sleep. You won't be able to sleep, obviously. You have to pretend. He'll be poking you from behind and you'll be disgusted, but don't laugh. Put yourself in the same situation, the same mindset you were in as a third grader in math class, laughing at your friend's note that she sent you, passed you across the room with something obscene drawn on it and the teacher is watching you and you cannot laugh, you cannot laugh. You've already used your bathroom passes, you can't escape the class and you cannot laugh and this guy is poking you from behind with his dick and you cannot laugh. You were asleep, you need to avoid having sex. Worst case scenario, you find yourself sexually active with this person. What do you do? Foreplay. Foreplay is really underrated and I think you should make the most of it. Dip your lover's dick in a jar of Nutella. Whisper to him seductively. I'm on a diet. Get up and leave the room.